Hello everyone, it's Roxy and today I'm coming with a new tutorial video about teleportation. So I see too many players just not using it correctly, so I decided to show you some tricks about how to teleport, when to do it, and why is it so useful to do it. Uh, for most players in League 2 and 1, I guess it's pointless, but if you are not in those leagues and you don't exactly know what you're doing every time you teleport, it could be useful. So why is teleportation so important and how this video is going to be? So first of all, it's important because it's going to make you survive, escape, bait people out of uh, their position and uh, go back to base if you are cornered. Uh, on the format, it was really hard to make that video because there's a lot to say and a lot to show. So finally, I gave up and decided to just play every clip, clip twice and uh, kind of show you and teach you and explain you what is going on and what you should do and not do. All right, so let's begin. So the two first clip was basically just me teleporting uh, safe to base after being cornered. And uh, by doing that, I'm just pressing the right key and I'm checking minimap before to know where my enemy is. So for example, on that one, just to quickly explain, uh, I escape, I mook, I'm up, up top. Lonely Star is on the left, waiting for me to dash out. And Swiggins just went back to base, meaning that either I teleport out and I'm back in base for HP and spend my money, or I try to escape at my... Uh, potential death. So it's never a good idea to try to go all, it's not always a good idea to try to go back to your teammates. A lot of time it's easier for you just to teleport. For example here, I'm cornered, the top turret is still up, that means I cannot go on the right, Penny is waiting for me on the left. Uh, I could try to escape since I'm, since I'm a froggy, but let's assume I'm not another nut. My best option would have been to teleport out, I'm back in base, and I can spend my solos. It's uh, quite easy to do and it's quite fast. It only takes a couple of seconds to teleport and you have an invisibility frame. So for example here, I'm kind of pushing the base alone. I'm definitely cornered, top turret is here. What can I do? Not a lot. I'm teleporting. Jumping up and dropping is always a good solution because you start teleporting in mid air. Meaning that uh, people don't expect that. You will teleport faster when you're on the ground and like you're gonna see soon. So I start teleporting immediately I could have even started teleporting before, but I'm teleporting here. When I stop teleporting, I have my invisibility frame, and that's when Lonely Star hit me, meaning that I dodged the attack and survived. Here I'm fighting with Yolo, we're kind of like in the enemy base. He's teleporting quickly. See, he didn't even wait for a second. I saw him doing that, I'm doing the same. Ted is dropping on me, attacking me. If I had waited a couple of seconds more, it would, the damage would have canceled my teleportation, and I would have had to escape or die. So it's really a question of how fast can you think and how fast can you press the teleportation button to escape. For example here, Yolo and I are both quite low. Yolo straight up teleport, he doesn't wait a second, I'm not, and I end up dying. Not that if I teleport I would have survived, obviously not, maybe not, but the point is uh, as fast as you start teleporting, the more chance you have to survive. Because also not is quite fast as a game, we all know that. And uh, teleporting can be done during a fight. Um, I will, you will see example later. But to do that, you really need to like be on time with where the enemy are and how much seconds do you have before they come. So on that clip, I'm just like low life. I, I'm not really a good Raiden. Uh, how can I survive? I'm dodging. I'm dodging. I'm on the enemy side. Eh? That's not my side. Um, the script put a totem to block the enemy to follow me, which is a good thing. And because I saw the totem, I have time to teleport, which I did. Using the jump pad is obviously a, a trick that everyone uses. That's not new. Uh, on AA, you can uh, allow the swimming bird to like fly by doing that. Here, you can easily just dodge it. Why is it important though? You can do tricks like that. So Farren, for example, just jumping. He started the ship up, jumped again, and by the time he land, he's already back in base. I, it's too late for me to join him. I will do the same here. So I'm low, really low, and I'm just dropping. He cannot kind of follow my trajectory because teleportation just like cancel my momentum and make me drop. See, up, I drop. It's easy. So I'm not obviously have an advantage over other people that can fly. For example, player can easily dodge and go back. Right. Important here. He's straight up te studying teleporting and look at it, Ted is on him. We're gonna see it again. So he's trying to juke, he's doing actually a quite a good juke. Ted follows. Ted on the minimap is dropping, he's dropping, he's dropping, he's dropping, and he's here. If Yolo had waited like, I don't know, one second, he would have died. Why? Because Ted would have been on him. It's really a question of how, how fast can you think and teleport. 
here. Leon is on me exactly now. I should have started teleporting a bit earlier to make to be sure. I got lucky, he failed, but I would have died if it was good players. So like, we don't know what to do. When you don't know what to do, just try to teleport. If it works, you're back in base, you can spend your solo and you're safe. It's always better to survive than to die. I think everyone knows that. And teleporting is a great way to do it. Genzi here is doing the same. Even though he doesn't play that character, he knows that teleporting is important. So he can straight up start teleporting. No enemy can hit him because they cannot jump. He's back in base, safe and certain. Every nuts has a different way to teleport, obviously, and different advantage. Scree is one of the best one for two reasons. He has that totem that can easily block anyone and allow him to teleport safely. And he can uh, fly up in the air and mid teleportation drop. Uh, I don't think I have an example, but you will see it. Just try it. You can fly like him and in the middle just drop, meaning that the enemy are going to try to eat you when you're on the air, but you will be in the bottom. Uh, when the shot uh, hits the, the top. Other nuts are obviously easier than, uh, have a better advantage than other. For example, flying character can just go up the map and teleport in peace while other are like, have more trouble. Totem, again, totem is really important if you play Scree because it allow you or your whole team to teleport. Uh, I think a couple of times ago, we did the teleportation, the three of us at the same time uh, because of a totem. It was quite sick, but I don't have the clip. See, for example here, he doesn't know, I'm sorry, the cam locked on me. He doesn't know where I am. So he wants to attack me. I could have teleported on the right or the left. It doesn't matter. The fact that I jumped and then started teleporting uh, makes him uh, harder for him to eat and I have less time just on the ground waiting to be hit. That's, uh, that's another way of teleportation. Uh, why do I have that clip is because I hate people that back when they should not back. I'm going to do a full video about why is it a bad idea to back when you shouldn't, but that's a perfect example. All right, he backed, but he could have easily just picked up the HP and then come back. And uh, the other thing is that uh, at the end, uh, Scoop, so Danimal, is taunting the enemy by teleportation, by teleporting. It's also something you can do. If you want to bait the enemy out, or if you want to turn them because you're just better, you can start teleporting and they usually either get mad or just try to kill you. So obviously it's pointless to teleport, it's just a taunt, but sometimes it's good to taunt. All right, uh, here, so for example, Yolo, a uh, badass, that's the important character to follow, he's the Raylin. So we are in a fight, it's a 2v1, he gets a lucky double kill and he starts teleporting. First mistake he did it was that the teleportation was uh, on the blue thing, meaning the turret could hit him from the right. A lot of time people try to teleport him from that side and get hit by the turret, so be careful on that. Uh, other, it's not, so he teleport, the double has to come, because if not he will teleport, he can put his trap and escape. So it's not a full teleportation, it's just a way to kind of bed the enemy out and then do a combo or escape in a smart way. Uh, here, it's a clip from Hot Hood. Uh, so Raylin has some extra speed, so you can take some... Uh, uh, you can like be fast at the enemy. You use ris your Rift to slow them, really useful, like Totem. And then she teleports up top. Uh, the u -lead cannot jump, so it doesn't work. Uh, also, teleportation works when you like trap or when you are like pulled or pushed. So you saw YOLO teleporting while being in the black hole. Another aspect really important of teleportation is obviously backdooring. Uh, you should not stay a lot, like like he did, uh, like Sentry did. Sentry has two teleports, so it's really useful, but he teleports back in base, backdoor, and then immediately teleport because you know they're gonna, they're gonna come for him. If he had waited a couple of frames or more, the dynamite would have hit and it would have been like corner and probably die and it would have been awful. It's really a question of seconds before you end up dying or winning. Here, for example, he no, Kubik is a good player, obviously, but he should have uh, either backed a bit more on foot or teleport uh, fully in base. That doesn't mean anything. You got the idea. Uh, same here. I don't know exactly what to do. I'm telling you, that's the thing you can do. You can dash up and then teleport, but it's not really smart because you lose your dash. Uh, so you should not do that, actually. Now that I think of it. It's a couple of seconds again. That's... Uh, Wolf, he suck, he's dead. See, uh, Scree, for example, here, could have dropped 
exactly when the armor showed to like teleport me there. All right, I was talking about cornered and going back. So here's the perfect example. We're pushing the base. Well, like it was certain for that they would have lost anyway. But my point is, we're attacking base and they're both really low life. And I'm keeping top so they don't come and defend. They should have backed, get HP, and defend from their position. That's something uh, that anyone should know. So if you are just like separated from your team, try to teleport. That's it for today. I don't think I'm going to use that recording because it's pretty bad and I'm not quite satisfied with uh, what I wanted to say about that tutorial. See you all. Hey, so I listened to what I recorded and it's actually not that bad. So I'm going to use it because I'm tired of just trying to make that video again and again. But for the next minute, I'm going to talk about a couple of things that uh, I wanted to say and I couldn't because of the clip. Uh, so it's going to be uh, like a short list of more or less what you should do and not do. So you should cancel if you see you should cancel. Uh, it's good to teleport, but if you realize you're gonna get a kill, just obviously jump and move. I mean, it's not uh, because you started that you have to finish. It's pretty obvious, but I see a lot of people that don't try to dodge an attack when uh, they will die by it. Because maybe they can think that the invisibility frame will come, but if you just realize that it's not fast enough, uh, try to avoid uh, attacking. Second thing, uh, so back at the wrong moment, obviously I'm going to do a video about that, but wipe the wrong creep, creep wave are things that you need to be aware of and do not back at the wrong moment. If you are on DOT, you cannot teleport, so you should start walking directly to the base and uh, either teleporting after the DOT or uh, pick up elf and teleporting or just walk the whole way and pick solar in, the, the, in, in your way. Uh, pick up elf before, you should not pick up elf before, obviously, because you're going to teleport. Why do you need an elf if you're going to teleport? Leave it to your teammates. What else? Uh, 2v2, mm, all of that, it's like positioning and like 2v2, you shouldn't back 1v3. I don't think you should back because you're going to let your turret down if it's early game. Uh, if it's a 2v2 and you're like cornered, so it's a 2v2v1, you shouldn't back. But I will explain all of that in another video if you want me to. Actually, yeah. Tell me in the comment if you like the new the format and if I should do more of those and uh, what should be the next topic. But I think positioning is going to be an important one because a lot of players just don't have a good positioning on the map and are not aware of the minimap. Uh, also, uh, so yeah, use the map, use the minimap. Uh, obviously, you can like jump at different parts of the map that other nuts cannot and therefore teleport safely if you like can fly. Uh, in Starstorm, well, uh, just fly up and teleport or do stuff like that. Use your skills. So we saw the totem, we saw Raylan, but a lot of character has different skills that allow you to teleport. You can hook someone and teleport, you can trap someone and teleport. Uh, you can get invisible, go somewhere in the bush and teleport. You can teleport from the bush, obviously. It's common sense, I didn't say it, I didn't show it, but in case you're like not good at awesome nuts, then maybe I should mention it somewhere. Uh, Drew can use the jump pad, like we showed, it's, it was only like two or three examples, but there's a lot of which teleport with jump pad and stuff like that. And obviously use your use uh, the nuts that you have. They say a flying character can do it, and I just received a message. Uh, there's not one good spot, because you can teleport from everywhere, just do it fast. If you wait too much, you're gonna die. So at the end, uh, my only advice will be to be smart. Uh, try to consider teleporting not as just backing, like in League of Legends or other kind of those games where it takes like 30 seconds to teleport back in base. Here, it's only two or three seconds. So you can do it everywhere, anytime. So just use it. It's, it's not because you teleport that you're a noob. It's important to survive. And if you realize you need to teleport, just teleport. If you know your teammates are coming, maybe don't teleport immediately because maybe you can like combo and make a sandwich. But if you're alone and you know your teammates are not going to come, teleport. It's my best advice I can give you. That's it. Uh, I'm kind of tired of teleportation because I've been trying to do that video for so long that I just gave up so many times. So that's going to be my last shot. I hope you liked it. Uh, please tell me in the comment uh, what you want next, what I could improve and uh, what should be the next topic. Thanks for watching, I'm Roxy. In case you don't know me, I'm making a weekly montage video, full game and from time to time tutorial. 
that's it. Uh, it was my personal opinion. If you get offended for any reason, please go complain somewhere else. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.